Hello family. This video is a follow-up to my last video, End Times Creepy False Teachers. In that video, we're looking at what Paul warned us about would happen in the last days when it came to false teachings that particularly cater to the flesh. And the reason that we believe that that's the what direction the false teaching goes is because in 2 Timothy 4, he talks about teachers catering to our itchy ears, so to speak, keeping up for themselves teachers um, for the itching ears. And that only can mean what the flesh would want. So what I want to clarify in this video is the difference, the way I see it, between hyper grace and eternal security. Okay, you're going to hear the term, obviously, the term once saved, always saved, or OSAS is thrown around a lot. However, I think that could be misapplied depending on the position. So, for example, a person who is hyper grace, which is a false teaching now, a modern false teaching, that could be called OSAS, once saved, always saved. However, a person on the other extreme who believes that we should be constantly concerned of losing our salvation might call eternal security once saved, always saved. So I'm going to avoid that OSAS label here and really focus on the difference between hyper grace, which is going around now, particularly on YouTube, versus eternal security. Okay, hyper grace says... Be grateful. You don't have to do anything. So it teaches you're grateful. You don't have to do anything. You're saved. It's taken care of. Eternal security teaches you are so grateful that you want to do more. When you understand eternal security, you're grateful that you're so grateful that you're saved that you really genuinely want to do more. Hyper grace says that sounds like works. It accuses people like me of preaching a works gospel or teaching a works gospel, or that sounds like works. Works is a bad word to the hyper grace community. Okay, with eternal security, you understand that he makes us zealous for good works. Okay, and there's a lot of other scriptures to um, reinforce that as well. With hyper grace, you're glad that you don't even need to pray. With eternal security, you're so grateful that you want to pray more. With hyper grace, you're relieved. You don't need to read the Bible. With eternal security, you're hungry to know Jesus more. And Jesus and his word are one. So you want to read the Bible. You want to get to know Jesus more. With hyper grace, every one, every Christian gets all the rewards, including the rapture. With eternal security, salvation is secure, but the rewards vary. Okay, so you want to dig in and find out what more there is and how better you might improve your report card, so to speak, while you're here. With hyper grace, you don't need to pray to be counted worthy to escape. You, okay, you don't, need, you don't need to do anything. You just pray the prayer of salvation the one time, and that's it. You're going to go. You'll be taken care of. But with eternal security, you understand Jesus said to pray to be counted worthy to escape. Luke 21, 36. Your, your salvation is still secure, as we just said before. But the rewards, including rapture, rapture before tribulation or the great tribulation, is a reward. And Jesus said to pray to be counted worthy to escape. Well, the hyper-grace community will come back, and they're usually the same as the hyper-dispensationalists. And they say that most of the Bible is null and void for you. That doesn't count for you. You don't need to read anything except for what Paul wrote. Eternal security understands dispensations, but it's not hyper-dispensation. Paul taught us. He taught the Gentiles in 2 Timothy 3.16 and 17, 
He taught us all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly f furnished unto all good works. That's what Paul said in his last letter that he wrote. So how could... This is a slam dunk against the hyper-dispensationalists who will tell you to only read Paul. Paul's telling us all scripture. He's not saying all, only my scripture. This is a you should this verse you should memorize because this is your weapon against the hyper dispensationalists who are going to tell you that other parts of the Bible don't apply to you. Okay, that is a lie. That is a deception. Okay, and then finally Hypergrace says, you were saved the nanosecond you said a prayer, now forget about it. Eternal Security says, you were saved before the foundation of the earth. This discovery floors you with daily gratitude. When you discover what it means to have been saved before the foundation of the earth, that should floor you with gratitude. And that should change your heart to where it was predestined to be, which is to be wanting to know God more, wanting to read his word, wanting to know what he'd have you to do today and tomorrow and for however many days we have left here. Okay, so I just wanted to get this out and let it be known. There's a big difference between hyper grace, which is a deception. It is an end times deception. It caters to the flesh. It tells you to say your prayer one time, forget about it, and everything else will be taken care of. Eternal security doesn't teach that. It teaches you can have eternal security. You can be secure knowing that nobody's going to take away your salvation. You've got that guaranteed. But there's more to it than just that. I hope this has blessed you. I pray it's blessed you. God bless. Love you all. Bye-bye.